to turning away my children. There's no mask mandate in Texas for children. You understand that, right? Sir, absolutely. So you do understand that. So you're violating the law. First of all, my federal right, you're harassing me and discriminating against me because of my disability. Alrighty, fellas, how's it going? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you are all doing very, very well today. I'm not gonna lie, before I started this video, I had nothing to talk about, okay? I was searching through YouTube, I was searching through Instagram. There was just absolutely nothing I could cover today. Well, I, there probably was, but I was just too lazy to look. So that's when I came to the conclusion of talking about Karens for today, because you guys seem to really like those videos. And today's video isn't really about multiple Karens. We're not gonna be looking through a compilation like we usually do. Today, we're gonna be focusing in on one singular male Karen, okay? Now, I'm not gonna lie, fellas, the cringe goggles are going to be needed for this one, so make sure you have those on standby before this video starts, because this male Karen is honestly something else, okay? This is probably one of the most in uninformed people I've ever come across, and just one of the stupidest. So today, we're taking a look at an anti-masker male Karen who decides to argue with staff, get in people's way, and he also just makes a scene in the store, so without further ado, before we take a look at this, make sure to go follow my Instagram at poncho death and uh yeah let's take a look at this male karen my kids because there's only one person that can come in at a time so you're turning away my children there's no mask mandate in texas for children you understand that right so you do understand that so you're violating the law all right so i'm just gonna pause this because i smell stupidity listen karen well wait he's a dude so we're gonna have to call him something else listen ken it's not illegal if a privately owned establishment makes the decision to require masks even though the state doesn't i live in kansas and i used to work somewhere where they required masks and the state actually didn't this isn't a foreign concept dude the store more than likely made this decision just because they wanted to make sure that people were staying safe and they also wanted to make more money i would assume also i'm not sure how this guy is isn't understanding how this is legal. They're just asking you to put on a mask, dude. First of all, my federal right, you're harassing me and discriminating against me because of my disability. Do you understand that? Do you understand what the Americans with Disabilities Act is? Okay, listen, dude, regardless of what disability you have or whatever, they're not harassing you at all. She is quite literally just sitting in front of the store as an employee, mind you, just telling people to put on a mask if they're not wearing one, because that's just the store guidelines, dude. Regardless of you thinking that the rules are stupid or whatever, in my opinion, I think it's pretty childish to challenge the rules with the employees, because all that's going to turn into is the manager getting involved. But I, I guess that was the goal for this male Karen. You do? So you're just disregarding it and you're having this be an experience that my children have because I'm not gonna stand down on it. I actually have a legal right to walk in here right now. I'm just being courtesy to you. I'm being courteous to you. I don't get this anywhere else I go in Texas. And it is reprehensible behavior to make a child feel like they should be wearing a mask when there's nothing wrong with them. You you understand what you're doing in civil rights. Would you turn somebody away for their race or their religion or their beliefs or anything else like that? <laughs> Bro, what? Okay, now you're just comparing apples to oranges. It, it's it's really not the same thing, dude. They're just asking you to put on a mask because there's a pandemic. Kind of feel like my brain cells are about to commit suicide. You know, I'm, I'm starting to realize why there's the cringe report logo on the bottom of the video. It's making a lot more sense why that's there now. Would you? Because a medical exemption, a disability is a protected class. A disability is a protected class. So what I'm gonna do right now, hopefully you can respect this, is that I'm gonna stand in my legal right, which is that if this is a public facility that's open to the public, it is, not I, it, is it is absolutely, you are a private, could you sell cocaine in here if you wanted to as a private business? No. Did you sell cocaine in this business? You know what's the funniest part about this? This is over having to wear a mask, bro. Could you imagine? If the most oppressed feeling you've ever had in your life is having to wear a mask, then uh, you've lived a pretty privileged life, bro. Wearing a mask, bro, like, it's, it's just funny. I hate masks, dude. I feel like we all dislike them. You know, they're not comfortable at all. I know that vaccines are rolling out right now, so we'll see how long masks are even really publicized or made a thing that's, you know, regulated into society. But uh, I don't know, dude. I feel like it's not hard to just wear a mask in public, man. I, I don't know why Karens are throwing fits over it. There is federal law. There is federal law. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk into this store and I'm going to shop. And if you would like to call the police to have me removed, you can. But in the interim, this is ridiculous that you were. Yeah, absolutely. You, you have shopped here before. Yeah, I know. I have my children with me and I'm being turned away. And I'm about to lose it because I don't take them out. And for the one time that I take them out, they're, I'm now being harassed because of my disability. Bro, you're not being harassed. Dude, you are not being harassed. The, the, she's just telling you to wear a mask. I mean, all I got to say about this clip is just I really feel bad for kids who have to deal with a dad like this. Holy shit. There is no law or mandate in Texas.
Texas, which says that right. I even have to wear a mask. No, okay, I nothing. We so were, in the interim, in the interim, I have my children so, so with me to shop. People are trying to walk down. Yeah. I, I, you, you right now, this is called holding me hostage and against my will. It is because I have a right. I have a civil right to shop. Okay, yep. I think my brain cells are quite literally going to jump off a cliff right now, man. You're now claiming that you are being held in a hostage situation. Do you even know what you're comparing this to, dude? Is the manager holding a gun to your head or something, bro? Are you being extorted or something? It's just so funny, dude. You you really cannot make this shit up. I've actually had experience with these types of people like male Karens in the past. I actually used to work somewhere where they would deal with anti mask pretty often. I can't say I've ever dealt with people that have gone this far, but usually they'll just flip off management and walk out. And as I said earlier, dude, I hate masks. Like, I, I had to wear them eight hours a day for a shift. It would suck. But you gotta wear them, dude. Who knows how long this will last, though. In public, in public, in places that are open to the public, this may be a private establishment, Correct. but it conforms to federal law and federal mandates which, and state mandates and local mandates. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. yes correct. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. The accommod That's you know what? That is a violation of law. You I'm cannot sorry. just one yeah. person at a time I'm sorry, whatsoever. Sir. Look, I'm going to walk into the store. If you would like to call the police, you can. Let's go, kids. Come on. Let's go, kids. If you touch me, you touch me. Don't touch me, kids. Let's go. This is this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to shop my entire experience here. You know what's funny? He could have left. He could have just left. He would have. He could have just went to Walmart or something. Uh, wait, wait, they require masks there too. I forgot. I don't know, man. I just think this is childish more than anything. I don't know why he has to uh, make a scene about it. You really gotta wonder with like employees, like what do you do in that situation? Like I don't want to say call the cops, but like bro, like what else is there to do? You can't. You can't force him out because he's not going to listen. So I don't know what you do. Ah, oh, dude, Karens are crazy. Kens, man. M male Karens. We're gonna call. Call him Ken's, okay? You can, you, you can, you, you can do whatever you want. I would like to. I don't even have a cart. I am, I am no. so offended right now. I can't even tell you. For me to be dealing with this when I was in California by myself is one thing. Avec mes enfants, I'm starting to speak in French with my children. It is reprehensible behavior, and I am so perturbed right now. As I said earlier, quite literally a male Karen. Man, I'm so offended right now, man. You're asking me to put on a mask. This is America at the I'm end of the day. And for, I, look, the, you know what? The, do you know what the police do at the end of the day? There is a difference between the spirit of the law and the letter of the law. And you guys should have had a different response right now. I chose today, knowingly that I could have gotten a reaction with my kids. And I said, no, God is not going to have this happen to me. You guys have been so kind the entire time I've been here. All right, I think I've had enough of that. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more content like this in the future, uh, feel free to subscribe. I think it's safe to make the conclusion that this guy is a complete idiot. And I don't know, man. I think he's the worst male Karen I've seen yet, you know? Uh, I'll definitely update you guys with another video if I come across one that's even more ridiculous. But I, I think he's uh, he's taking the throne right now. So yeah, with that all being said, uh, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will catch you tomorrow. Peace.